Hi, welcome back. It's time to give some color into the garden. I like to grow things that looks pretty, you know, and our pollinators will appreciate that too. You know, I found these canna lilies um, on sale, so I bought almost all of them, 18 of these uh, pots. I'm gonna show you how I split them so I can save money because canna lily grow really fast and they're very hardy they are tough plants and they will grow from little tubers I got three kinds today this is a newer color that uh, rose canna eat in the nursery okay rose canna we have something very called garlet kind of look like rose but it has a little orange tint you see the difference one is more like magenta pink like really happy deep pink and this one is pinkish orange and then this one is also one of my favorite I would say these two together probably look really good this have a pinkish coral color and this is mango but this is more pastel if you have this you know it's a standalone it's look very pretty as well this faded a little bit because um, it's the, at the end of the bloom um, life but when they first came out the first few days it is such a beautiful coral or something um, so you know so you know these have been outgrown so much you know for some plants if they're doing this I probably won't buy it these they grow from the tuber so it just means the tubers are very vigorous in there so I just pulled this out you don't need all the roots if it's so hard to pull out just gonna squeeze it if it's hard sometimes I will cut oh there you go you see that overgrown we'll just cut it off I know this look very painful but the plants gonna love you for it cuz now it's free the new roots gonna get to explore out to the new land instead of bounding to each other, starving. Gonna be able to find new home, new land, new soil, and grow its own offspring. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. You can use a knife too, but I like to use my fingers pick out the soil and let's clear the top soil a bit so I can see what I'm doing I'm just going to try and have a section of one to two um, plants sometimes if they're tiny I just leave three in there break them apart no problem she likes it you like getting a trim her hair is everywhere you can kind of see here if I wiggle some of them already come out. Maybe I'm just gonna split these two right here. Hold them and gently break out. Feel a little tuber break. Now the tuber already broke apart. Pull the roots apart. There you go. You see where it was attached right there? I will just leave it like this. And then this one, I could break it apart some more. Let's see. Voila! We have one plant that become three. Now you can split these uh, after you put them in the garden. They grow pretty fast. I was able to split my other one after three months. So now from two plants, I got about 11 plants. Not a bad deal. Awesome deal. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plant these along the fence. Um, I want to create some hidden space in our backyard. Uh, it's good, you know, like when you have a big yard, you want to create little nooks and little surprises, you know. First thing people see is a layer of some color, and then they come in, they see another layer, you know. So you don't want to like have everything open, everything in the same elevation of plants height, because then there's no element of surprise. So that's what I'm going to try and do in my garden. I don't really have a, a concrete plan of what 
kind of plant I want in there. But I don't want that. So when I see something on sale, I know it could work in a certain space in my garden. I just go ahead and buy it. Yeah, I just buy it anyway, just because it makes me happy. That's a white wedding. I'm gonna space them about one foot apart. G give them enough space to spread just a little bit. Can really kind of love the sun, but it can tolerate a lot of shade. 